Hello Legends, my name is Fred Jam and welcome to another Apex Legends video. There is a new event, the Genesis Collection event, and I just got this, Chatsworth Girl. This charm commemorates the Chats Chatsworth Girl, the legendary bomber that went down over Europe only to rise again during a daring escape. Issued in celebration of Respawn's short documentary, Colette, winning an Academy Award. I haven't seen that documentary I should check that out because I have no idea what this is all about but it looks like a bomber plane oh a nice uh, music pack let's uh, let's just immediately equip that music pack oh it already is okay that's nice and then uh, let's quickly check the charm get that little red dot out of here because I don't like red dots where is the red dot where is it oh there it is Looks cool. I'll probably equip it on something later on, but not now. Right now, I need to focus on the event. The Genesis Collection event. Here we go. Let's look at the free rewards first. Prize tracker. They say you can't go home, but hey, nothing wrong with a little nostalgia, right? Get ready to taste tears in your beer, because OG Kings Canyon and World's Edge are back. Take a stroll th through some classic landscapes in Battle Royale, if walking's your thing. And, what's that I'm picking up? Skull Town in arenas? And don't forget that memory lane's lousy with prizes like weapon skin, gun charms, and trackers. So, so ready to sling lead like it's 2733? Oh yeah, I am. So, right off the bat, we get the, uh, the badge as per usual. Looks pretty neat. I believe that's a tree. I don't know what that is. It's either a tree or a turd. Uh, we got a loading screen Genesis. Nice. A little plain, but nice. And we got a Chatsworth roll which is a weapon charm nice nice sushi I don't like sushi but I like that then we get the uh, trackers for horizon and for Valkyrie nice 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 then we get the sly fox weapon charm which is a fox which goes pretty well with the uh, rampart skin love that uh, Samurai Nessie, you gotta have a, a, a Nessie in there, absolutely adorable, I love the Nessies. <laughs> Pick your poison weapon charm, ooh we got that uh, mask from the Wraith skin, nice nice nice, there's a lot of, uh, of these other trackers but I'm skipping those, we get a kill quip for someone, let's see, ah Crypto. God, stop beating, <laughs> have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> uh, uh, nice little kill quip for uh, uh, crypto then we have uh, a purple crane Watson skin nice nice what's it what's up with the cute Watson skins lately they've been they've been uh, coming one after the other then we have a feudal glory legendary charge rifle skin oh wow that one's pretty neat oh that's it that's really like an Eastern it's like an Eastern house with like the roof and like the walls oh I love that that is nice Nice, nice, nice. And then we have the Kinetic Energy Eva 8 skin, which is also a legendary, which is also so nice. Wow, it's not as nice as my uh, Reindeer Eva 8 skin, but still pretty good, pretty good. In case you don't know what the Reindeer Eva 8 skin looks like, it's that one right there. And quite frankly, nothing beats that. Um, then we have a new challenges, of course, as well. And then we have, of course, the most important park. Park? Park? The most important park, the actual event. Oh, we have also have special offers, but let's not look. Hey, look at this. The Warrior Empress is in here. I have this skin. And uh, I, I made a video on this. I made a showcase video on this skin. So if you want to check it out, please do. I will leave a limp. A limp? I will leave a limp in the description below so you can check it out. Yeah, it is one of my most viewed Apex videos. So definitely check that out. Anyways, moving on. The, <laughs> the Dead Man's Curve Revenant Heirloom. My goodness, these heirlooms are so good. This is, I think, one of the best I've seen yet, if not the best. The only thing that's, that, that can beat this is the Kunai, and that's just because I'm biased. That's the only reason the Kunai is better. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. That's so cool. I really want that. My goodness. Moving on, let's start with the, uh, with the with the epics. The best friend Pathfinder skin. We've got like a little dog paws on there. Really nice. I do like that one. That's pretty neat. Uh, then we have the Shuriken Showboat Octane skin. Uh, not the most exciting. You have a little shuriken here and there. That's uh, It's not the best. It's not the best. Uh, cuteness Overload. 
Absolutely love love that one. Oh my goodness, it blinks as well. Adorable. Love it. Cosmic Starlight. Ooh, I actually kind of like that one. That's nice. It's a, it's a bold one. It's a bold one. <laughs> then we have the Gold Scale uh, Vault. I forgot the name there for a second. Vault Skin. Bright pink and gold. I like the color scheme. But at, at the end of the day, it's it's an epic, not a legendary. And epics usually just don't live up to the... The, 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 the legendaries, you know, because they're epic. Dexterity longbow skin, eh, it's it's okay. I've seen a lot of these, I mean, similar epic longbow skins. There's been a lot of those over the past two years, and at the end of each one, I'm just like, you know, it's cool, but I'd never use it, so yeah. Then we have a decrypted banner pose for crypto, which is an epic. Ah, <laughs> nice. Man, those those survey beacons look so big when you see them from this perspective. In game, they don't look as big, but when you look at it from that, they're actually really big. And then we have an epic banner pose for Loba. Ah, she stole us. I love it. She can steal me anytime she wants. <coughs> Moving on. We have, ooh, skydive emotes. I live for skydive emotes. It looks like, oh, yes, I might have to pick this up. I live for skydive emotes. I absolutely love that one. I love skydive emotes in general. Usually in these events, I pick up the skydive emotes. Uh, I have a lot of, a lot of crafting medals, so I can definitely afford to pick up a, uh, a skydive emote or two. You know, depends on how good they are. Uh, I usually look at how often I play as the character and how much I like the animation in general, and then I decide whether or not I pick it up. That Valkyrie, I play a decent chunk of Valkyrie. I do like her a lot, her kit and whatnot. And I do like the 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 kind of emote, so probably picking that one up. Let's see what this is. This is fuse. Oh well, that I'm probably gonna have to pick that up as well. I do really like fuse as well. I definitely don't play fuse as often as I do Valkyrie. So if I have to choose between the two, I'm definitely gonna be choosing um, Valkyrie. But I can probably pick up a legendary skin as well if I really want to. So I'm gonna look at those first. Death wrap triple take. Wow, that's nice. I like that. I didn't even look at the weapon charms. I just completely skipped those. Mecha Horizon weapon charm. Basically just a transformer. <laughs> Love it. And then we have the Nobori weapon charm. No idea what that is. It looks like a flag of some sort. Probably, probably some um, eastern uh, thing that you find. Uh, I don't really know what it is. It looks like a flag to me or even like a promotional banner of sorts. Yeah. Uh, we already started a triple take, moving on to the legendary alternator. My goodness, that is the best alternator I have seen. Ever. And I've seen a lot of good ones. This one, uh, wow. Love it. Love it. If I had this skin, I would main the alternator. Not even kidding. But I'm not gonna pick that up. <laughs> Ooh, bestial instinct. Oh, wow. Oh, that is nice. Okay, that's the best Sentinel skin I've seen to date. If I had that skin, I would be maining the Sentinel. Wow, okay, now I'm... Whew, I'm kind of scared to see what's coming next. Like, my goodness, these are good. Ooh, the Cord Cutter uh, Flatline skin. Ah, this goes with the Valkyrie skin. I have seen the Valkyrie skin before already, but this goes with that one. My goodness, that looks... That still looks really good, though. Not as good as the other ones, but still really good. Then we have the G7 Scout. There's always a G7 Scout. Military grade. Pretty clean, uh, but also pretty similar to other skins that I've seen before. Like the Tier 100 that we got, uh, I don't know was it when it was, like two seasons ago. It's pretty similar to that one. Uh, but still nice, though. If you don't have that one, you can pick that one up. Pretty nice. Uh, Valkyrie. Ometsuri Furia. This is the one I've already seen before. She kind of just looks like a sushi chef. I do like that skin. That is neat. I like that. Oh look, oh there's the flag thing, banner things again. Oh man, that is a neat skin. And I live for those thighs. <coughs> I did not say that out loud. Horizon, Galactic Guardian. There we go, that goes with the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 alternator skin and the, that transformer weapon charm. Really cool. I love that Horizon skin. My goodness. That is amazing. I don't play a lot of Horizon, so... Not gonna pick it up. Definitely not. But my goodness, that is a good skin. Wow, if you're a Horizon main, 
You know what to do. <laughs> Synthetic Shinobi. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love the Revenant skins. Every time there's an event and every time there's a Revenant skin, I'm blown away. Revenant always has good skins. I don't think I've seen a single Revenant skin that's not good. My goodness. Love it. Amazing. Moving on to Crypto Inconspicuous. This is basically just his Kaijun Park version. And uh, I do like it. If you're a crypto main, you're definitely going to love this. I, for one, don't play crypto. He's like the least played character for me. So definitely not picking it up. And also not a very exciting skin for me personally. It's a cool skin. Like I, it, it connects to the lore really well. And for that reason, I would pick it up. But it just overall, it's not a very exciting skin and not very action-packed skin, if you know what I mean. Yeah, moving on to Loba, the Petty Theft Loba skin. My goodness, this might be my favorite skin in this event. I saw this beforehand as well, and my goodness, do I love this skin. If there's a skin that I'm going to be picking up, it's probably going to end up being this one. Just look at it. Look at it. It's so good. Uh, Gibraltar, Gentle Giant. Uh, that one's pretty cool. It's kind of like a, almost like a, oh, oh, an S-A-R-A-S -A -S skin. Nice. This is connected to some Gibraltar lore. I do like that a lot. Very, very nice. And then the decorated line, Bangalore skin. A lot of people are loving this skin. My goodness, I've seen so many comments saying that they are, or, or not comments. Yeah, I guess comments. Just, just. So many people, I've seen so many people say that they are going to be picking this skin up because, quite frankly, they love it because it's connected to Titanfall and all that, and I, I, yeah, I'd pick it up too, but I'm not gonna. So, yeah, if there's a skin I'm gonna be picking up, it's gonna be Loba. It looks so good. I love it. Moving on to the special offers, we have the Loba skin again, we have once again the Crypto skin, and then we have the Warrior Empress Watson, which I mentioned earlier, and Rise of the Phoenix Hemlock. I believe we've seen this one before at some point. It does seem familiar, but I might be wrong. But there's a lot of these colorful hemlock skins. And uh, this one's nice. I do like this one. And then we have the uh, the Octane skin, which also is a really good skin together with the um, R3 win. I don't remember what the event was called, but it was like an event where basically every legend had like a robotic version, a robotic skin. Um, I don't remember the name though. Aftermarket? Was it Aftermarket? I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I do like that Octane skin a lot. So, uh, you know, really cool, really cool. And I think that's about it. Takeover active. Let's read that. Takeover legacy maps. Head back to the original King's Canyon and World's Edge during the Genesis event. These legacy maps will replace the map rotation in Play Apex for the duration of the event. Ranked will remain unchanged. So if you're grinding in rank, you don't need to worry about uh, all that map stuff and whatnot because that's that's not affecting it. But if you want to play these uh, maps, then you can just play the normal duos or trios game mode. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that's it. And uh, Skull Town is now in arenas as well, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, we have Party Crasher, uh, Thermal Station, and Skull Town. So they took out Phase Runner. That's sad, because I did like that map. I did like Phase Runner. But yeah. Yeah, I don't play that much uh, arenas anyways. But uh, yeah, that's the event. I'm going to be jumping into a game uh, in the next video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to stop recording this, edit this, upload this, record the next video, and get that one ready for tomorrow. Yeah, because I want to upload this one as quickly as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next Apex Legends video. Goodbye.